peace, everyone, and, welcome back. So, Yusef, brought his family back to Egypt, from the desert. Then Yusef raised his parents upon on the throne, and they fell prostrate to him. Meaning we accept your position and follow your orders. That is why in older times people would fall prostrate in front of the kings. Just like when soldiers salute, to their high-ranking officers. Oopsie daisy. Then, Yusef said, O oh my father, this is the fulfillment of my old dream. My lord has made it come true. He has blessed me, delivered me from the prison, and brought you from the desert, after the devil had driven a wedge between me, and my brothers. My lord is most kind towards whomever he wills. He is the knower, full of hikmat. My lord, you have given me kingship, and taught me the interpretation of dreams. Initiator of the heavens, and the earth, you are my lord, and master in this life, and in the hereafter as well. Let me die as a submitter, and count me with the righteous. Thank Allah, that he informed us, that his name is not God, but, Allah. Shaitan, misled us through the years, he took out Allah's name from the Torah, and the Angeal. And replaced it with so many nonsense names like, Dios, Kodar, Theos, God, God, Allah, Elohim, Abba, Jehovah, Father, and so on. These are the names, that we fabricated, on our own, which, Allah, never authorized them in the Arabic Quran. Yet, we have Allah's most beautiful names in the Arabic Quran, but, Shaitan does not want us to use them. Each name has an especial meanings. Yet, Shaitan translated those names to nonsense names like, Jesus, Jacob, Jehovah, Job. For years he added his initial, J, for jinns, to all of those names. Like the phrase, Ya Allah, he changed it to Alleluia. He just put Ya, at the end, instead of in the front, as English speaking people use. Shaitan does not want you to say Allah. God is not the name, yet it is a title, and an object of worship. Shaitan made 4200 fake, and false, religions. You have all the rights to deny, and reject these religions of our time. The words thought to or damn for his forgiveness, starts with name of Allah. When Suleiman wrote to Sabah, he wrote, Bismir, Allah. Then, how come we do not translate al fatiha When I eat, I cannot say, Bismir, Jehovah. The Arabic language is the language that they speak in heaven. At the gate of the heaven, angels will say, Salam alaikum. Now let us go back to our story. Yagub, at his deathbed, asked his sons, What will you worship after me? They said, We will worship your Lord, and the Lord of your forefathers, Ibrahim, Ismail, and Eshauk, the one Allah. To him, we are submitters. So, Upon the time of their father's death, there were submitters, as far as Quran is concerned. But, as their father gave us the hint, at the beginning, Yusuf's brothers, did not have, good souls. From these twelve brothers, twelve tribes of nation of Ibrahim came about. Remember, Yagub, means heel, and base. So, the sons will be transported by the all-powerful, Bani Israel, established after Yagub. But, the shocking news is, that, among those twelve brothers, only two of them were truly righteous. Remember, when Ibrahim asked Allah, would my descendants, become a leader as well? Allah said, my promise does not include, the wicked. The leadership did not include, all of his descendants. So, from those, dozen brothers, ten of them, were dirty. Thank Allah for informing us with so much hikmah and knowledge. Please check the Angel and Torah, for 10% charity, which is written as tithe, t-i-t-h-e, meaning, 10%, zakat charity. Allah repeated this word for us, 171 times in the Angel, which is a multiple of 19, therefore, it is for our generation. But, it is hard for stingy humans to pay 10% of their net income, for zakat charity. That is why we have so many homeless and hungry people. US government pays $200 per month to 50 million people, who are waiting for their next meal. Then they go and buy processed food, 
and foods that were sprayed with poison chemicals, and GMOs, because that is all that they can afford. Then, they suffer from obesity, and get sick, with so many diseases, and then they give them chemical medicine, then they die. But, we are not supposed to die of food poisoning, yet from an old ages. This is the part that Allah says, you are cursed with a curse, for you are robbing me, you all nation of Ibrahim. Malachi chapter 3, verses, 9 and 10. That is the result of not paying 10%. Our nation is condemned to eat these unhealthy foods. You might want to educate yourselves about your food. You do not want to be among the average people. Yet Allah says, eat from halal, meaning, lawful, and, tayyib, meaning, pure, and unpolluted, which in our generation means, unpolluted, organic foods of Allah. The word tayyib foods, repeated 29 times in the Arabic Quran. That means foods without pesticide, herbicides, and so on. Also shaitan orders people to change Allah's creation. That would be GMOs. Like corn seeds in US. Which is not belong to Allah anymore, yet shaitan patented for himself. Since the secret code of the Arabic Quran came out of one of shaitan's house, which is, Monsanto, 38 years ago. Therefore, shaitan found out, and that is why shaitan is getting revenge from us by poisoning our foods, and with GMOs, for the past 38 years. As you see, we brought this curse upon ourselves by rubbing Allah, and not paying 10% for zakat charity. You might want to check tape number 2 part 1. Then, if you follow the Arabic Quran, you must eat from unpolluted, organic foods in our time, without any poison chemicals and pure. Then, Allah says, give from the foods that you eat yourself, to poor people. So you cannot eat organic foods, and give others processed foods. That is why Allah says, do not rob me and give your 10%, then, I will open the gates of heaven, and I will shower you with abundance blessings. And Allah will say, I will stop insects from eating your crops. They will not destroy the produce of your land. That means if we give our 10%, then Allah would not let insects eat our crops and he will protect it, so we do not have to spray it with chemical poisons. So we all would have organic pure foods of Allah. Also if you believe in the Arabic Quran, you should follow the other scriptures, dedicated to the nation of Ibrahim, so we can not ignore Anjil and Torah. Otherwise we fail the test. As I mentioned around 2011, that, there is no word, kkkot bar, in the Arabic Quran. Yet, Friday prayer, is commemorating Allah only. Now, the third surah revealed to Prophet Muhammad, was surah 73. In this surah, all of a sudden, Allah tells Muhammad, for the first time, observe the contact prayer, and give zakat charity. And then, in the Arabic Quran, destined for us. The first surah that talks about, the salat, and, zakat, is, in the second surah, or year 3. And it never explains to us, in the Arabic Quran, how, h-o-w, to perform the salat prayers, and pay zakat charities. Yet, it tells us how, h-o-w, to wash, for prayers. Now, notice here please. Surah 21, The Prophets is the 73rd surah revealed to Prophet Muhammad. And Dr. Khalifa, translated, or yeah, 73, of surah 21, as, we taught them how, h-o-w, to work righteousness, and how, h-o-w, to observe the contact prayers, salat, and the obligatory charity, zakat. But, Allah never used the word, how, h-o-w. Dr. Khalifa, was not supposed to translate the Arabic Quran for others, that was not his job. Each one of us must translate it for ourselves. If we worry about our own neck, we should leave translations and study Allah's, Arabic Quran. Yet, Allah says, we made the prophets to be the leaders, who guide people according to our commandments. And we revealed to them, the doing, d-o-i-n-g, of good deeds, and doing, d-o-i-n-g, the contact prayer salot, and paying, zakat, charity. Which, means, 
Allah is the one, who reveals to us, at what stage of our life, we should start to do, our Salat prayers. So, Quran does not, tell us how, HOW, to observe these two rituals. Yet, they came to us by the word of mouth, and it just conveyed to us. Because, that was, Allah's covenant, with Ibrahim, about four thousand years ago. And Bani Israel, were passing it through. We do not have any options, but to follow the nation of Ibrahim. Everything Allah prescribed to us, is precise, like five times daily contact prayers, in certain times of the day. Fasting 30 days, 20% of spoils of war. And 10% zakat charity. But the party, who call themselves, Muslims, they changed the zakat to 2.5%. The question is, do you want to follow them? Or, you want to follow, Allah's, scriptures. Allah says, do not ridicule, and criticize believers because, they pay more in charities. Otherwise, Allah, will ridicule you. Also he says, believers pay their charities, in order to get closer to Allah, so the more you pay, the closer you get. And also he says, do not forbid charities. Let us go back to Yusuf. Please pay attention that, Yusuf saw a sign from Allah. That is why he was distracted. Otherwise he was ready to make love with her, when she was trying to seduce him. Allah is the only one who could divert the evil from us. Because, he is the one who is aware of our innermost souls. And we are created weak. Now here is the very important information about the planets in our solar system. Yusuf said, 11 planets and the sun, and the moon. And he had 11 brothers. Therefore, there should be 12 planets in our solar system, and the sun, and the moon. Maybe later on, Allah will inform us about the rest of the planets in our solar system. This is how the nation of Ibrahim, the sons who will be transported by Allah, were, transported throughout the world. Here is another hikmat from the Arabic Quran. The word star, in Arabic language is, kokab. Now, in Arabic language, all the words are one of two genders, masculine, or feminine, and the word kokab, it just happens to be masculine. And the story talks about twelve brothers. All masculine. And also this Surah Yusuf, is the twelfth Surah in the Quran, referring to twelve brothers, and twelve planets. As the Torah, and the Angel mention, Yagub had some daughters as well. As I mentioned before, the root word for Yusuf, is, Vasafa, meaning the one who would be unveiled. In this surah, Allah unveils Yusuf's absence from his family, and, he unveils his whole life story for us. I only told you five pages of this awesome story. I do not know how much you are familiar with short stories. Normally a short story has only, one theme. But just look at this, story, you want to think, that if it is about the dreams? Or, interpretations of the dreams? Or leaving idol worshipping people? Or if is it about worshipping Allah? Or is it about, jealousy? Or if it is about shaitan who makes you forget Allah? Or if it is about seduction? Or, if it is about sexual urge? Or if it is about durations of the droughts? Or how to keep whole grains in order, not to get rotten? Or if it is about a shirt? Or how to heal an old man's eyesight? Or if it is about gossip? Or is it about the those evil women? Or if it is about how treasury departments works? Or, if is it about stealing? Or if it is about cutting hands? Or repenting? Or is it about transporting the nation of Abraham? Or is it about Yagub, moving to Egypt? Or, praying for forgiveness? Or is it about solar system? Yet, you will see, that, it is, about, all of the above. Show this story to those who write short stories. I am sure when they read it, they will fall prostrate. Again, Allah wants us to research in the Arabic Quran. Please do not let the heavy weights of jealousy, and being prejudiced, and ignorant, prevent you from the truth, in the Arabic Quran. You have your whole lifetime to study it. Be sure, that Allah will teach you Arabic, and the hikmat in the Arabic Quran. Just start translating it for yourselves, and let Allah be your teacher.
Only Allah can help you. Peace.